second time, as you say, that um, I'm experiencing it. I was in Serbia in 2009 and it was a fantastic event. Um, I, had no, I wasn't aware really whatsoever of the scale and magnitude of the event and how big it is. Um, but it's, it's just a fantastic event. It's the second sporting event to the Olympics, is, uh, from what I, 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 could, I gather. Um, it's a great occasion for players to be selected to represent the country in whatever sport. I'm very excited actually about the squad and, and this is the first time now we have them together. I suppose we've had a couple of trial sessions but this is the first time having the squad together this morning and the quality of play in the training session was really, really good. Um, we have some senior international players in the squad. We have uh, Julianne Russell who's an established player in our first 11. Um, we have Karen Duggan who's been in and around the squad for, for a, a long time. Denise O'Sullivan of course is one of our most exciting talents right now uh, and was the top scorer in our last uh, European qualifying campaign and really really is, has a big future ahead of her. Um, Dora Gorman who's just back from a long spell out with injury as well has a bright future. Kira Grant uh, to, name, to name but a few but it's really an exciting squad and I'm looking forward to, to getting out to Kazan and starting the game. The Women's National League is, has been a big um, plus in preparing players for the likes of the national team and indeed for the World Student Games. Um, this is the end of the second season now, where Amy United are, are the current champions. The previous year, he met at United won. Um, the competition has been fantastic, and now we have a situation where players are playing the best against the best week in, week out for a full season from August to May. Whereas previously they were playing in their local leagues for two or three months of the year, and they were probably weren't they weren't getting the same quality of games week in week out. So that's had a really positive effect on, on the national team, as I said, and will also have on the the worst of the games team. So that's been great. And there are a few players here that, that are, will be knocking on the door. I expect after playing five six games against top quality opposition um, in in Kazan that it will propel them onto greater things, and it will give us a better opportunity to see them at that level. Um, we have Deirdre Doherty who was in the Cyclist Cup with us, is a fantastic talent and I think she just needs exposure at this top level. Geraldine McLaughlin also is another one, played one year under 19s, sort of on the fringe of the under 19s, but this is an opportunity for her. Um, I mentioned Dora Gorman earlier, Kira Grant, it's an opportunity maybe for them to, to lay down the marker. You have current or under 19 internationals like Lauren Murphy, um, Emma Hansbridge is coming through as well, so it's an opportunity for them to play at a higher level. So I expect these players, the competition and the, the experience they're going to gain, because uh, it's just going to help them and benefit them for the future and indeed for the women's team. I think in 07 it was a, a, a quite a strong squad and there was a lot of players from the national team on the squad. Um, the problems we had in 09 was that a lot of any national team players that were also were eligible were missing at the time because it was a clash with, with women's national team activity so they weren't available to me um, so it was a, a pretty inexperienced squad we had in, in Belgrade nevertheless we did well uh, there and we had some players that really went on to better things like Louise Quinn um, was knocking on the door then and she did really well and she's now established on the women's team I think we'll do well um, we're playing Mexico, Canada China, they're, they aren't easy, easy names in women's football, or easy games indeed, and they're big names in women's football. I think we'll do well. Um, you know, I'm not going to forecast, make any forecasts, obviously, but I'm looking forward to good performances and good quality. And as I said, looking at the training session this morning, I think the future will be bright. It's been a long time coming. Um, I thought I was going to do it in uh, 2011 in Shenzhen, and we, it ended up that we didn't go due to the funding issues. But uh, So yeah, really looking forward to the event. A number of players playing League of Ireland, so uh, a couple of lads, probably not high profile lads, but like with Killian Morrison from UCD, uh, Jamie Carr from Wexford, a couple of Waterford lads, Dylan Marner and Brian Nolan. So we've, we've League of Ireland lads throughout the squad, really. Yeah. It's a big step up for a lot of them, but uh, that's part of what we're doing this morning, is trying to prepare them and get them ready for that step up. You know, uh, No matter how much you talk about it, I, I mean, the reality is going to really hit when we get there. So. We're trying to replicate what we're, we're going to in, in our preparation game. So we're playing the Ireland under-19s, and we're playing St. Pat's, um, and we're playing Wexford Youths, um, and we're also playing the Northern Ireland Junior International team. So we have some good games, you know, good standard games. Coming up. Not worried about climate, really. Quality of opposition, you know. From what we've heard, uh, the standard's really high, you know, comparable to under-21 or under-23 full international. So um, it's, it's, it's a big challenge, you know, for, for everyone. So. Hopefully we can step up to the plate, you know. Standard of third level football at the moment is really good in, in Ireland, so um, and it has definitely improved over the last few years. So, you know, we have we have good players and they're all playing at a high standard, uh, not only with our colleges but with most of our clubs are, are at a good level. So yeah, certainly 
I think we'd be better prepared now than we would have been even in 2011. So, yeah, so the, the lads will be okay. We're definitely looking at performances and developing players. I think that's what third level football is all about, really. Um, however, you know, we've just spoken to the squad this morning. We want to make a big push uh, to get out of the group. And once you do that, you finish in the top eight. And that would be a big improvement for, uh, for the Irish team going.